Next on Done on a Weekend Extreme Projects, create shade, privacy, and water diversion with this underdeck build. I'm landscape designer Doug Scott. Having partnered with Xmark over the last several years on their hugely popular Done on a Weekend Projects videos, we thought it was time to kick these cost and labor friendly DIY projects up a notch in an effort to help you create the outdoor living spaces and experiences you've always dreamed of. Welcome to the all new Done in a Weekend Extreme Projects series. Are you a homeowner who has a great deck, but you're frustrated with all the space underneath that effectively goes unused? If so, you're in luck, because in today's Done in a Weekend Extreme video, we're gonna be talking about underdecking. Not only will underdecking give your deck itself a professional finished look, it'll also create a great outdoor living space underneath that's both private and protected that you, your family, and friends can enjoy. Effectively what it does is it takes the water from out from underneath your deck, away from your home, and into your yard. And the bonus is it's low maintenance, so it'll give you a lifetime of enjoyment. All right, I've talked enough, let's go. So today we're joined by Heath Bowman, founder and CEO of Southeastern Underdeck. And he's allowed us to walk alongside him and his crew as they install an underdeck system for one of his clients. Heath, thanks so much for letting us be here. It's good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Glad you guys can make it. Ah, thanks, man. So tell us, what are you going to do with today's project? Well, today we've got a 400 square foot linen uh, underdeck, smooth panel, okay. and it's going to have a bunch of lights, fans, speakers. Should be a really nice project. Awesome. Look forward to seeing what it looks like. All right. All right, let's get started. All right, so tell us, what's involved in an underdeck installation? Well, there's three phases. So step one would be we're going to spin a laser level, and from that we're going to be able to determine our pitch okay. where the water's going to go to our uh, downspout. So let me ask you, do you have to have one of those fancy laser levels to do a project like this, or can I use my Mac Daddy, you know, regular level? Great question. You know, we do sell DIY kits, so for the DIYer, Yes, you would be able to use the level that you have, but for our own installs, we spend a laser level on every project. And one question I have, and I'm sure most of the viewers would have, is how far down below the deck does the underdecking hang? Um, great question. We start three inches below the band at the house, and then we pitch it one eighth inch per foot away from the house into the functional gutter. Okay, awesome. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot more clearance than I thought you would have had underneath it. That's great. All right, that was phase one. What's next? So now we're gonna um, install our wooden end caps and we're also gonna install our wall channel and the gutters and silicone everything and get ourselves prepared for step three. So do you have to use those wooden end caps or, something, or could you use something else? We always use the wooden end caps. Um, you can, if you'd like, we can wrap it with that same aluminum that we're gonna put in for the wall channels okay. uh, so everything matches. Okay. Um, but we would rather you put the wooden end caps in to protect yourself from birds okay. and squirrels and things like that okay. being able to get into the deck. And it probably gives you a more finished deck-like look too. Absolutely. Most of your decks are wooden. Yep. This is going to match what you already have with your pressure treated. All right, Heath, what do we do now? All right, so now we're going to put in all of our panels. We're also going to put on our lights, the fans, speakers, and our Bluetooth receiver. I have a question. For the homeowners, do they have much choice when it comes to the gutters and the trim and the panels and all that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. We have 25 colors to choose from. Um, you can also mix match your colors, too. So if you want the panels to be one color, huh. um, your trim to be another, that's okay. an option. Cool. Um, and then we have the eight different textures of panels. Um, so you have your smooth, um, you have the different beaded uh, panels, and then you have the wood grain embossed, and then a, a series of different uh, beaded textures as well. Um, one last question I have. As far as, as far as maintenance, do you have to clean an underdecking system like you would your gutters, or tell me about that? You know, just like your gutters, you know you're going to get debris uh, okay. in this space as well. I tell homeowners every three to five years you're going to have to uh, maintain that space. With our system, that's really easy because we can remove a panel from anywhere, so to get mm. back in and clean it, is really going to be a nice and easy project for them to get done. Now, is that something that I'd have to hire somebody to do, or could I do that myself? We have uh, videos online that will show you how to remove and reinstall a panel, okay. but we off offer that service as well.
man, Heath, this looks absolutely amazing. You got the lights, the fans, speakers. I'm sure that your homeowner's really gonna enjoy this space. Yeah, this space really turned out nice. Yeah, well, thanks again for letting us be here. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Yeah, man. Well, Heath and I hope that this video has helped you better understand how underdecking can help transform an unused space under your deck into an amazing outdoor living space that you and your family can enjoy for years to come. As always, please check us out at xmark.com slash backyard for more done in a weekend extreme ideas. Take care and here's to enjoying life outdoors.